Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to move reference lines to the back in Tableau. Or another way to think about that is to move reference line behind bars. So let's start by looking at a simple view of sales by product in the coffee chain data set. And a typical thing that people want to do is they want to put budget sales as a reference line. So we'll add it for every cell. We'll choose the budget sales and do the sum. No, comp no label, and let's just make it a black bar. Okay, so here we can see that our reference lines um, are in front of the bars, and when I right click on those, there's no way to move those to the back. So how can we do that? Well, there's a couple ways. First, let's label this sheet lines in front of bars. Let's duplicate this sheet and then and go ahead and remove the reference line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take budget sales and I'm going to put it on the secondary axis, synchronize the axis, and then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Take the color off the measure names. And then I'm going to go to my sales pill and I'm going to change the mark type to a bar. And then on my budget sales, I'm going to change the mark type to a Gantt bar. All right, maybe we go ahead and make it black and uh, let's make them a little bit wider so that they go across the bars. So again, this looks pretty much identical to our previous view. I'm going to hide the header for our budget sales, and if I flip back and forth between these two sheets, you'll see basically the views are identical. Okay, so in this view, what I need to do then is I need to uh, go ahead and let me show this header again. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to go ahead and move these marks to the back. And look at that, now our reference lines are behind the bars. Okay, so this is one way to do it. So let's call this reference line behind bars. Another way that you could do it is, let's go ahead and duplicate this sheet, is instead of putting budget sales on the secondary axis, let's go ahead and move it back to the detail. And let's add another reference line. But this time what we need to do is we need to take our budget sales and we're going to create a calculated field and I'm going to call it budget sales adjusted. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take 99% of the value and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to put both of these on the detail shelf and this time I'm going to add a reference line and I'm going to do a band this time. I'm going to do it for every cell and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it from the sum of budget sales to the sum of adjusted budget sales. Turn the labels off on both of them and go ahead and make the fill darker. Okay, so now you can see that we have reference lines behind the bars. It isn't quite the exact same look, and maybe there's a way that you can make the calculation more precise, but this is an alternative way to do it. So I hope that helped you guys, and uh, talk to you next week.